everybody. It's Ramadan. Let's round up. It's Ramadan Roundup. It's Ramadan Roundup. It's Ramadan Roundup. Ramadan Roundup with Ilya's Ducks. Let's go! I'm happy to welcome you all to my kitchen because today the goodness learning is about LT eating. Okay, welcome my friends, bienvenue. Welcome to the Chef Duck Show. For those of you who do not know me, here's a little bit about myself. I'm a professional chef. My passion is food and of course cooking. I have a special nose. When I smell the food, I can tell you what fresh ingredients are used in the dish. Mm. The best food for us is actually the one we make ourselves. We get to choose our own ingredients. We choose the spices, the colors, and the taste. We should definitely try to have more home-cooked meals and less fast food. You agree with me, no? Excellent. Islam is also a way of life, not just a religion. It helps guide us to be the best human beings we can be. From the way we dress, to the way we talk to the people, to the way we eat and even sleep. Yes, it is very important for us to eat and to stay healthy. So we can be able to do our daily activities. If you agree with me, you say, oui, oui, Chef Duck. Excellent. I have a trick question for you, my friends. Do we live to eat? Or do we eat to live? Exactement. You are correct. All of us eat to live. Allah has blessed us with so many types of food, fruits and vegetables, different types of meat, grains, dairy products like the milk, the cheese and the eggs, so we can nourish our body and give it the fuel, the energy it needs to function, no? So we can continue to do more goodness in the world. Now friends, I will share with you the Chef Duck Nuggets of Healthy Eating. Producer, show everyone my nugget graphic on the big screen. No! No, no, producer, those are cheeky nuggets. I mean the nuggets, the lessons I want to teach my friends about healthy eating. Okay, that, that is better. Let's continue. Friends, these are my lessons for healthy eating. First, everything that is available in nature is the best option for us. We can go to the farm and we can get it ourselves, if we can, of course. There are so many mentioned by name in the Quran. Did you know, for example, the pomegranate? It is one of the fruits of paradise, Jannah. One pomegranate can have more than 600 seeds in it. Magnifique! And about healthy eating, it is about being mindful of what you eat and put into your body. So eat a balanced meal that has each of the nutrients your body needs. Healthy eating is about how you eat without wasting and eating just what you need. We should eat the right type of food at the right time and the right amounts. Remember, there's the one-third rule. This is by the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He said you should fill your stomach with one-third of food, one-third of water, and the remaining one-third portion for air, for your breathing. Saying, of course, Bismillah before we start, and Alhamdulillah after you're done eating. And we must eat with our right hand. And we must eat what is halal, what is clean and permissible. Staying hydrated is very important throughout the day. If you feel thirsty or your lips are dry, it means you have waited too long. Your body needs the water. But when we're fasting, of course, we will drink and eat after we break our fast at the Maghrib. We should drink in small sips, not big gulps. I know you're all over there watching us from all over the world and all of you have yummy and delicious dishes and food of each of your countries and in each of your houses. When it is time to pray for the Maghrib, that is the time we have to break our fast. I have to have at least a croissant. Oh no! <laughs> Producer, what is this? I say croissant and you put me picture of French fries. And French fries are not even French. They are made in Belgium. I must remain calm. It is Ramadan after all. Be patient and be kind. Be patient and be kind. Okay, this is better. Ah, les croissants. 
Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicieux. Hey, I have a fun fact for you. Did you know that the name of croissant and the shape of the croissant is inspired by the crescent moon? Fantastic. There is something else that happens when we break our fast at Iftar. When we eat dates and drink a little bit of water, we already feel full. Do you know why? Aha! It is because in Ramadan, we're only having two meals a day. So our stomach gets a bit smaller and does not need so much to get full. I know what you're thinking. Does that mean our stomach can change shape? Excellent question, if you're thinking that. Subhanallah, the body is pretty amazing. The stomach is a muscular organ. It stores the food and also gets smaller and larger depending on what goes in there. So you have to take control and choose what you eat. It has to be balanced, made up of fruits and veggies. Then in the end, of course, you can have something sweet as a reward for eating healthy. And don't forget to say Bismillah before you start eating, my friends. Bon appétit! But oh, I remember, I want to give you a little gift. I have a special recipe that I want to share with you to try at home, but you will need the help of an adult. Of course, because you will have to use the blender and also to turn on the cooker. Okay, Mr. Producer, please put up the recipe on the big screen and do not mess up this time. No mistakes. This is what you are going to need. You will need two cups of oats, two cups of water, one piece of banana, a quarter tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of honey, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then you will need some vegetable oil spray. And I will tell you how to make it. Here are the instructions. You first need to combine the oats and the water, the banana, the salt, the honey, and vanilla in a blender on high speed until smooth. And then you will lightly spray the pan with vegetable oil, pour the batter, and cook it on a cooker until golden brown. That's when you know the pancakes are ready. Then you can serve this with anything you like, peanut butter, fresh fruits or honey, and you can take your pick. You will enjoy. Be safe, have an adult help you with this, and send me some pictures if you have made it at your home. Enjoy this, bon appétit, and au revoir mes amis. Now I must go. Goodbye my friends. <laughs>